Hi friends! Welcome to week two of Crafto Con Kalo. Uh, we'll be working with collage today. If you were in my multimedia art class, we've already done collage together, but I love collage and I want to be able to share it with all my other students. So we'll be working with a lot of magazines today. Hopefully you have some just laying around in your house that your parents don't mind if you cut them up. You'll also need some glue so that you can put the magazine onto a piece of paper. And that's about all you need. You also need scissors. Don't forget scissors. Our special guest today is Princess Pete. He's a webkin and he is one of my actual pets. I have a pink betta fish and this is supposed to represent him on my webkins account. So he'll sit right there. So first what we're gonna wanna do is find some material to put into our collage. Uh, there are a lot of different kinds of things you can look for. People like the same color or they wanna start with some big picture of something like this. And when you find something, you can just tear it right out. So, so there's a big teacup on the side of this one. Perfect. I'll keep this one off to the side. And then, after you've found everything that you want to work with, you can start putting things together and cutting them out. So, I'm gonna start here. And once you've cut something out, you're going to want to put your scraps somewhere so you don't lose them. Uh, here, Pete, would you mind holding my scraps for me? Thank you, thank you. So once you've like kind of figured out what you want to put onto your collage, you can start gluing it down. I don't know if you've caught what I'm going to be doing. I like this face, but I don't really like her eyes, so we can cover that up. But, I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can find a sailboat. So when you start gluing things, you're going to want something that spreads the glue. I'm just going to use my hands because I don't really care that much. I feel like they're going to get covered in glue anyway.
once you've been finished, you can just let it dry. I mean, it's hard to know when you're finished during one of these things because you don't really know if it looks good or if the composition's all right, but it's really nice to be able to have somebody to talk to, to ask if they like it. So your mom or your dad or your friend, whoever you can talk to about your creation, and then you can like tell them how it makes you feel and they can tell you how it makes them feel. And it's a really cool kind of situation where you get to share art. This is my finished project product. I hope you like it. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys had a lot of fun following this tutorial, even though it was a lot less of a tutorial, more of a watch me make art. Welcome to the end of the video dance. Look at me, look at what I'm wearing. Kate, would you like to dance? Lord, dancing in your face.